Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Creative recently introduced several interesting external USB sound cards, such as the excellent Sound Blaster G7. Still, a lot of us have been waiting for a more audio oriented showing from the company. This has now officially materialized in the form of the Sound Blaster X5, a device that would really use a better name, as this way it's destined to be compared to the Sound Blaster X4. And the Sound Blaster X3, while these are good external sound cards in their own right, the Sound Blaster X5 is a different beast altogether, both in terms of design and performance. In essence, the Creative Sound Blaster X5 is an external USB sound card based on dual DAC, dual balanced headphone amplifier concept. It looks more like a hi fi DAC headphone amplifier combo device than an external sound card that we are used to seeing from Creative. But looks are receiving with a 3.5 millimeter microphone input and a software suit packed with DSP effects, equalizer presets and microphone filters. This is indeed a fully stacked sound card. For good measure, Creative added Bluetooth connectivity, a 4.4 millimeter balanced headphone output, analog RC and optical toss link inputs and outputs, and even a unique USB type A audio host port, which can be used for connecting external USB speakers, headsets, microphones, and wireless receivers. Platform support includes uh, PC and Mac computers as well as PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. If you see, it uses uh, dual CS4318 uh, high resolution DAC, and its DNR 130 decibel. Its peak playback resolution is uh, PCM 32 bit 384 kHz. Optical out PCM 24 bit 192 kilohertz and highest recording resolution on mic in port PCM 24 bit 192 kilohertz line in also the same optical in PCM 24 bit 96 kilohertz it supports 16 to 600 ohm headphone output impedance like other more advanced sound cards recently released by creative the sound cluster x5 is controlled through the creative app which is available both in desktop and mobile Form. This is a nice feature of the Sunbuster X5 as it allows you to control the device even when you are connecting it to your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 console. Although the reach front panel with a dedicated button and dial for every important feature of the X5 makes the mobile app somewhat redundant. Still, if you don't uh, want to get up from the comfort of your coach or to change the output from headphones to speakers or to switch an equalizer preset. Being able to do so with a smartphone comes in very handy indeed. The device screen is split into different categories where we can access and configure various features of the Sound Blaster X5. You can navigate to the playback recording and settings menu on the left side of the interface. Here we will also find quick toggles for output selection, headphones or speakers, as well as sound volume and microphone gain sliders. The main purpose of the playback and recording menus is to set the Sound Blaster X5 as a default playback recording device. Of course, you can also change the input and output resolution here. The settings menu is used to reset and re repair the device and to upgrade its firmware. The soundboard section is where you configure and select your sound profiles. Creative offers a ton of pre-made profiles such as gaming, music, and movies, but also many other game specific ones such as Apex Legends, Call of Duty series, Counter Strike, Global Offensive, Dota 2, League of Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite, Cyberpunk, and so on. You can, of course, create your own and add them to the mix. The sound profiles are essentially a combination of your acoustic engine settings. More on those in a moment. You can apply uh, different settings, including equalizer to the headphone and speaker output. Acoustic engine is essentially what creative previously called SBX profile. Here you can play with various DSP parameters which span far beyond regular equalization such as surround, aims to create a perception of being surrounded by speakers. Crystallizer, which is actually tries to enhance the dynamic range. Bass expands low frequencies, smart volume minimizes sudden volume changes, and dialog plus, which enhances voice audibility. If you are not a purist, you will have a blast experimenting with all these settings and their combinations, all of them can be adjusted on a scale from zero to 100. And you can easily assign different acoustic engine settings to the headphone and speaker output, which is a nice touch. 
the equalizer section contains a system wide 10 band equalizer with an additional preamplifier bus and triple sliders all sliders work in a plus minus 9 decibel range there are no special dsp effects added to the sound like in the acoustic engine category of the creative app creative gives you 10 frequency bands to play with uh, 31, 62, 125, 250, 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, 8000, and 16000 hertz. Equalization applies to headphone and speaker output separately. The crystal voice menu contains the microphone filters and effects. The noise reduction feature aims to reduce the static background noise, while smart volume tries to keep the volume of uh, our voice constant. The voice morph feature alters your voice in real time to make you sound like a dwarf emo, uh, demon, a ro robot, a uh, person of the opposite sex, and so on. Finally, there's a uh, microphone equalizer with 11 different presets, which can help you sound better. When activated direct mode, turns off all forms of digital signal processing and delivers the audio signal in its purest form directly from the DAC to the headphone and uh, or speaker output. According to Creative Scout Mode is designed to help you hear beyond what you see. When activated, Scout Mode significantly boosts the audibility of quieter sounds such as footsteps and reloading guns. This is uh, should help you hear them much easier, but it comes with an obvious drawback. You will lose the ability to accurately determine the distance of your targets. You will also be more paranoid than usual since you will constantly have a feeling that someone is close by this is one of the those features which you simply must try for yourself and decide if you like it in call of duty especially in its non version modes where there's constant chaos happening all around you anyway using the scout mode felt almost like cheating in apex legend it made me too twitchy but it also definitely helped me hear uh, my enemies sooner than i would uh, otherwise be able to in uh, rocket league and other games outside of multiplayer fps territory using scout mode yielded no noteworthy benefits the mixer category is where you can individually adjust the volumes of every output and input that the sound cluster x5 has to offer this includes the microphone monitoring feature which uh, will surely interest anyone using an analog closed back headset the mobile version of the creative app available for android and uh, ios devices contains several menus of its desktop variant you get access to the equalizer direct mode and mixture categories and you can use them to upgrade the firmware adjust the screen brightness and change the output between headphones or speakers what you can't access through the app are the sound mode acoustic engine and crystal voice categories as well as the scout mode feature <laughs> on next video i will show you the Sound Buster X5 versus the Sound Buster A9, the previous model's sound performance. So please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching.